Hey guys, it's Gadget Guru HD here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to edit the key mapping so you guys can use your PS3 controller and pair it with your Nexus 4 to play games like Modern Combat 4. And that's actually the game I'm going to be demonstrating today and how to set it up. So let's get started. Okay, guys, now the first thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to go and get into a quick game of Modern Combat 4. It can just be ourself, um, it doesn't really matter who's in it. You can Basically all we need to do is we need to get a screenshot of the screen. That way we can go and make some buttons and actually make it look like our PS3 controller or we are actually pressing and using those buttons. So once you guys do this, you guys are pretty much all going to be beasts at this game. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we are going to... You're going to want to go to your settings on the top left hand corner. Go to the bottom options. Go to controls and make sure it is on uh, classic controls. You can see there's the screen tap. You don't want that. You want the classic controls. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take a screenshot like you guys can see right here. We have all the buttons there. So we're just going to hold down the power button and the volume rocker down at the same time. Once you get that, you guys are good to go. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our six axis app. We're going to go to the top right hand corner, hit preferences, go to gamepad settings, and make sure that enable gamepad is checked. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go back, go to touch emulation, which is on the bottom, and hit edit touch profiles. So now that we have our screenshot shaved, saved, we're going to hit, we're going to double tap, and we're actually just going to rotate this uh, landscape since that's going to be the actual way that the game is going to be when we're playing it. So we're going to double tap and we're going to go to change background. Now we're going to find our screenshot. Hit right here. And you see that it's all messed up. So we're going to double tap again. We're going to edit background which is on the bottom right. And we're just going to rotate it until we get it to the right way. And we see that's correct, so we're just going to hit back. And it's saved right there. Now we're going to get to the fun stuff, which is actually going in and editing the profiles. So to edit the touch profiles, what we're going to do is we're going to double tap, press add button, and then we see all these different buttons, of course. Now, I'm just going to start with shooting. So I want this basic, like, Call of Duty controls. So I'm just going to hit R1, and I'm going to drag this right on over to the shooting button. So now when I go into a game and actually save this profile and I hit R1 on the controller, it should shoot. Next we're going to double tap again, add button. We're going to hit L1, put L1 where the aim button is. Going to do R2 for frag. We're going to do analog left for this, analog right in the middle, and then we're going to go to button properties for this one. This one we actually need to make sure that we check relative touch or this will not work. And when you go into this, um, you need to make sure to actually edit this sensitivity, you're going to have to go manually into the 6-axis app and um, check the sensitivity right there. So to change our button, we're going to go to or to change our weapon, we're going to go triangle, put it over there, and we're going to go to button properties, we're going to go to, so by pressing swipe right, we're going to get, it's going to swipe across and change our weapon for us. So we can go ahead and hit add button, and go find select, or oh, whoops, not select. I'm pretty sure that right there is uh, the score and how everyone's doing. So then we'll go to start, go to pause. So right now, I mean, we basically have all the Call of Duty controls and all that stuff. We can even go in and add sprint by putting L3 right here.
and I think that's all right there. So to save this, all we have to do is go to the three dot menu thing, or to just double tap the screen, hit save profile, new. And I'm just gonna save this as MC4. Okay, now that it's saved, we can say we know it's saved. And now definitely make sure before you go in and um, play the game, you must make sure that your controller is paired. And make sure that right here that the right um, thing is chosen so we want Modern Combat 4 for this. So I'm also just going to pair my controller. You guys should probably know by now how to pair it, but um, if you don't know already, then I do have a tutorial on how to do it. And it should work on any Android device that... Um, is compatible with six axis so we got it connected and I will get back to you guys with the gaming okay guys now I got you guys a quick demo right here and for just so you guys can actually see this um, I'm gonna zoom in on the screen and I just want to show you guys the PS3 controller right here that it does move the thing around that way you guys can actually know that this isn't just like a YouTube video gameplay or anything so I'm just gonna zoom in that way you guys can actually see the screen um, there is a little bit of lag, um, especially I noticed it on the left analog stick. Now this is, it isn't an online gameplay, um, but if you guys just want to see a regular one where uh, I use the regular screen for just gaming, then you guys can check that out. Now it's too bad that it seems right now that the Nexus 4, or this isn't a Nexus 4 specific video, but it seems like the Nexus 4 doesn't have uh, USB OTG support, which basically means you could plug in an OTG cable, and you could, uh, and you would be able to just use your uh, PS3 controller and Nexus 4 plugged in, and then there would be uh, pretty much no lag. So. You guys can actually see right here that when I go to the left, you can see that move, go to the right, uh, press the R1, shoot. You can see when I press down on L3, you guys can see me throw a frag. Back up. The changing weapon works. The start button goes to start. So this is pretty sweet. If you guys want an actual like gameplay where I actually uh, play the game, this was ju basically just a demo and setup. Um, if this helped you guys, definitely share this with other people because uh, this is pretty awesome. And I know a lot of people setting up six axis is not the hard part. That's actually the easy easy part. But um. For most people, editing the key mapping, which is actually what this is called, is the tougher part. But the great thing is once you uh, make it, you save it, and you are, you, you're just good to go, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, check out my 6-axis setup video. Be sure to uh, leave a comment uh, letting me know if you're going to do this. Um, and if you're not sure about doing it, go ahead and make sure that you have everything that you need to set it up right and if you run in, into any issues uh, leave a comment and let me know what happened and I'd be happy to help you guys out to the best of my ability so remember to like, subscribe, do all that stuff, share the video and I will catch you guys in the next one